everyone and welcome to our touch base Thursday for August 4th. I'm I'm back. Happy to be back with you all um, after um, pre-recorded video last week. So if you are joining me live, please comment and tell me hello and we will get started here in just a couple minutes. Um, so uh, let me make sure that I'm where I need to be. Yes, I believe I am. So anyway, welcome to Touch Base Thursday for August 4th. Thank you, Natalie. You are dismissed. <laughs> hi, Carol, and hi, Shireen. Um, I had to have Natalie come down and help me get it all set up down here for tonight. So anyway, happy to be back live with you all. Um, I hope that you enjoyed last week's pre-recorded video. Um, I know that it's not the same. It was really kind of hard recording it because I'm so used to being active with you all and talking with you all and answering questions so it was really different for me to record that video let me tell you anyway hi to philomena and to carol another i think we have two oh it's oh carol you shared already i love it all right so anyway what did you guys think of last week's note cards weren't those cute and quick and simple um those note cards actually are the make and takes one of the make and takes for my um all seasons retreat they'll be a little bit different i'm changing out some of the punches but those are going to be the make and takes for my all seasons retreat that i am um doing in september and there is a um, online version of that as well so um this is my second year doing a fundraiser for the st henry center which is the building that i um i use for my team meetings i use it for all of our fundraisers um, and I like to be able to support and give back um, for the upkeep. Um, it's an older building and it needs some TLC. And I just like the idea of being able to give back. So anyway, um, the, those make and takes, if you liked them, make sure you register for the either the online, the online portion of that. You're welcome, Missy. The online portion of that will include all of the all of the little gifties that we're making, and I got some really cute ones planned. It includes the make and takes, and then it includes um, uh, a cute little name tag I'm making, and then it will also include all, all of the um, you have the option of purchasing all of the optional classes for that. Okay, so anyway, so that is going to be a lot of fun. If you the links, I just posted the links on my page and in my group today for that um, it's been in my email the last couple weeks but I'm starting to really market that as we're starting to unfortunately have the end of summer and start welcoming in um, in um, fall next month so it's a good opportunity you bring your own projects to work on um, optional classes will also be there but it, it's time to dust off all those projects you put away for the summer and um, start having some fun putting them together and and getting um, back into the groove and fellowship with other crafters it's so fun it's a fun fun weekend so anyway um, so I hope you guys like those make and takes so my theme is called the all seasons retreat last year it was my sweet peach retreat uh, but I'm using the Texture Chic paper, which is gorgeous. You saw it last week in the video. Um, but that paper on the opposite side has paper for all of the different seasons that we have here in Michigan. So all of my little gifties are going to be themed one for summer, spring, fall, and winter. So kind of excited about that. So we'll see how that, um, how that all works and how everyone likes it. But the paper is absolutely stunning. So, all righty. A few announcements that I have for all of you tonight. Most of you know we had the fair last week. It was a long, tiring week. Um, you know, we had to go do the, the chores at the fair morning and night. So we tag teamed. Matt would go with Claire sometimes, or I'd go with Claire, or I'd go with Natalie. I think Claire did a little bit more of the chores than Natalie, but Natalie was working her, her full-time job. So she couldn't get there quite as much, um, but she did a lot more of the evening chores. Uh, but it worked really, really well, and we had two local businesses purchase their pigs, so that was really awesome and awesomely nice that they were supportive of that. And then our last little pig, so we had five of them, um, but our last little pig that we have is what they call the family spare, um, is still here, so we, we eventually will butcher him for us. But anyway, or her, her, they named him. I'm like, why would you name your pigs? But anyway... Um, so those of you that watched my YouTube video last week and commented on it, thank you. Uh, you are in the drawing for the prizes tonight. And I, I did announce earlier this week the, the two people who won from my previous Facebook Live. And that was um, Sabina Miller and Courtney Ostendorp. And so those two prizes are going out tomorrow. I'll be getting them ready tonight along with the two from tonight. And our two 
winners from tonight. So I have the the faux sea glass shapes, and the winner of them is Philomena Soso. So congratulations to Philomena on that. And thank you for watching and sharing and commenting on my video. And then the winner of the classic matte dots is Marilyn Squarker. So congratulations to Marilyn and to Philomena um, for winning um, the prizes for sharing and commenting on that pre-recorded video. We are back to normal though. So this next week, I will announce the winners of two prizes on next week's Facebook Live. Um, I have the Pale Papaya Ribbon. And I have some early espresso faux ribbon that is really a nice, pretty ribbon to use for masculine stuff. So you are welcome and congratulations. All right, so other announcements that I have. So um, it has been, I'm, I'm really hoping the month of August will slow down for me. Uh, most of you know my month of June was crazy with... Um, with a graduation and stuff. And then this last month, um, please keep my husband in your prayers. He first of all started off the month with a really horribly pinched nerve in his neck and wasn't able to do a whole lot. Fair week was pretty miserable for him. And so I had to kind of do a lot of, of extra help and get pigs loaded and all that kind of stuff. And then he started having issues with his leg near the end of last week. Went into um, the ER on Sunday and he had cellulitis in his leg from a, what they think is from a bee bite. He had some bees attack him when we were loading our pigs. Um, and then he also has a blood clot in his leg. So he is kind of laid up here at home, which is, if any of you know my husband, is so not him. Um, but he's got to take it easy. They do want him to still use his leg a little bit um, not sit for too long and move around and stuff um, but we're just keeping an eye on it and hopefully um, they put him on some blood thinners some strong antibiotics so we're hoping another week or so he'll be on the mend with that and they'll just have to keep an eye on it so um, anyway so I've been kind of tied up with that this week and I'm just I'm hoping to get back to all of my regular posts and everything um, like I said the last two months I feel um, hopefully you guys haven't felt too abandoned by, by me um, but it has been a, a few trying weeks for us so um, anyway we'll get there we made it through through fair week and that was like I said uh, with him having his neck issues and then his leg issues and anyway so um, it's just been crazy and then with me trying to still work and um, but yeah so uh, it helped that Natalie had a couple days off this week and she was home with him and so um, yeah he's he's in pretty good spirits even though he's not one for sitting around so yeah wish me luck as we progress with this um, but anyway, so like I said, I just wanted to explain to you what's been going on if I've been a little more absent. And um, I'm hopeful that the month of August is much, much better and I'll be more present and you'll start seeing more regular posts and all that awesome stuff going on. All right. So um, I wanted to talk about celebration. So celebration, Stampin' Up! announced and I posted about it about it a little while ago, a couple days ago. Um, they announced some additional items that you can pick with um, for celebration with a qualifying $50 or $100 order. And I posted a picture of all those items. They are um, items that are either from the annual or the holiday catalog. So they're not exclusive just for celebration. But if there are things that you wanted, you can get them for free. There's the Aspen dies, which are beautiful. It's got that great big die with like the birch trees behind it. Um, thank you all for your prayers. I appreciate it. And I'll make sure I let them know that too. Um, so, uh, but they, they have the Aspen dies. They have the metallic silver paper, the metallic gold paper going off memory. Um, so uh, they added more items for you to pick from, from um, August 2nd through the end of the month. Okay, so that's exciting news. And then um, I do have some kind of sad news, the tree lot dies. So if you wanted the tree lot dies, they are indeed sold out already. And so are, like I mentioned a couple weeks ago that the um, note cards and envelopes were sold out and those tree lot dies are now sold out as well. So I um, just wanted to let you know that. There is a promotion coming up the end um, or in September for customers. Um, there are six, die, six sets of dies coming out that coordinate with stamp sets in our annual and holiday catalog. And there are dies that you 
you can only get during the month of September. So I'll be posting that here in a couple weeks when it gets closer. Um, but there, if you like the Yeti stamp set, it's in the um, holiday catalog. They have dies coming out that you can only get the month of September. Um, and then there's five other stamp sets that they're doing the exact same thing with. So I'm kind of excited about that. So um, stay tuned for more details regarding that. Um, and then if you're still interested in taking advantage of the starter kit promotion, that planner um, computer decided to to do a silly thing here. So I'm just going to give it a minute until I see comments on. Okay, I think I'm back. Woo! So hopefully you guys can all see me, hear me, because like I said, it went out for a little bit on me. Um, but anyway, so um, those dies, I got the dies too, and I didn't get the bundle, but those dies are gorgeous. So I'm really excited about that. Um, to be able to um, use those dies for those that pretty um, like birch tree to make some cards with that. So um, anyway, classes for August. Oh, I was talking about the starter kit promotion. Now I want one more person. I just need one more person to be able to um, take advantage of that kit for me to make my, my goal. Um, and the neat thing is it's a risk-free kit. You don't have to do anything additional. And you get $125 for $99 and you get this awesome planner. Now you don't have to use the book as a planner. You can use it as a recipe book. You can use it for so many other little things. Scratch paper, it doesn't have to be used just for a planner. So yes, I am back. Yay. Thanks, you guys. I was a little um, nervous there for a minute. All right. Um, classes that are going to be opening up for August is my um, hippo. My hippo card. I have a hippo card class. Um, my Scotty dogs. A lot of you saw my Scotty dog, dog class that I showcased on a Facebook Live a couple weeks ago. Um, that class will be opening um, here in a little bit. I know a couple of you already want it, so I have you on the list already. So um, excited for that and then the class that i'm going to be showcasing tonight is also an option for this month and then i'll be offering my first i know you guys are probably going to kill me for saying this but my first halloween card class will be um posted i think this might be other than um this halloween class i think i might only be doing one other halloween type themed um class um and then a wash in beauty those cards are gorgeous i just um uh, I'm working on the tutorial for those right now. So those are also um, beautiful cards. So those are my five classes you're going to be seeing here um, posted um, very, very soon. Um, marketing is kind of taking place on them as we speak. So, all right. So with that, um, that's all I have in the way of announcements. Like I said, Fair Week was a huge success and we thanked our buyers for purchasing them and um, it's always a fun time, but it's also nice to have it done when it's finally done. So tonight I chose to showcase for you um, the Ringed with Nature bundle and you're going to see um, some really cute cards that I created with it. Now this bundle, and I'll show you it up close, it's got coordinating dies and an embossing folder, but it coordinates with the Ringed with Love a designer series paper that you can get for free during celebration. And I know that I've received feedback from a few of you that were struggling with how to use this bundle. You loved it, but you weren't sure how to use it. So hopefully you get some ideas tonight um, when I showcase what I've, what I've created for you. Um, didn't have time to do a 3D project. I'm really sorry. You have cards tonight. Um, and then I'm going to also show you your August card sketch. I'll be posting it tomorrow but I created a card sketch using this paper as well. So with that, let me transition my camera down and let's have some fun stamping and creating some cards. Okay, so as always, you're going to see a cute little sneak peek here of my cards, um, at least some of them. Some of them I think I have hidden on you, so you can't see them all. Let me unplug my little external speaker there. And whoa, I almost tipped over my computer. Turn my computer around. All right, I gotta see you guys' comments here. All right, so let me move all my junk out of the way. All right, so there you have um, some cute cards that I made using this bundle. And I'm gonna kind of show you the bundle in detail first, okay? Um, so the bundle is called Ringed with Nature. So you have this awesome, sorry, I moved my computer out of the glare. There we go. You have this awesome stamp set and coordinating dies. Now these dies are kind of cool because you have this great big die right here that coordinates with this embossing folder. So you can do it one of two ways. You can, um, um, I find it easier to emboss with the embossing folder first. 
and then to line up the dies on top of that piece and it cuts them right out. So you can get some um, different um, rings um, with different paper colors um, put right into right into that, okay? So a neat little, neat little thing there. And you get all of those with one swipe through your machine. Thank you, Rachel. And thank you, Philomena. Yeah, you guys haven't seen these nails yet because I wasn't live with you um, last week. Um, and then you have all of the normal dies that come with your, um, well, they're all the ones that kind of come with this to cut out these things. So mine are all over the place because I've used them already for my my projects okay so you get all these other little dies to kind of go with it um and then you can also cut them out individually if you wanted to now the neat thing is there is some designer series paper that you can use to cut out the rings i'll show you that here in just a second and you'll see how i use that on the cards here as well so i love the hybrid where they give you the dies and the coordinating embossing folder it just makes it so much easier whoops let me put that big one back away makes it so much easier to be able to um, to create stuff with it. Now, here's the designer series paper. Oops, I forgot these. Oops, 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 I can't forget them and lose them. Um, I believe this bundle is like 52 something. I did not grab a catalog before I sat down um, with all of you tonight. So I don't know the exact cost of the bundle, um, but I think it's like 52, um, 52.75 or 52.725. Um, but I'll, I have one of my helpers down here looking it up right now, so I will let you guys know. But here is the designer series paper that you can get for free during celebration that coordinates with that bundle. And it is gorgeous paper. So you can even use this paper if you wanted to without, um, without using the dies in the bundle. You really don't need it. So, but you have these patterns right here love these birds look at that isn't that cute so i'm just going to pull out one of all of these and then i'll show you the back side here in just a little bit as well but you could design i, I know we have designed many different cards with this designer series paper not using the ringed with nature bundle so you just got to get a little creative with it but it is doable okay so this is all of the paper that you have with it. So you have like this Christmas point set of one on the back, you have birch trees. You have this one right here. Um, oh, I was close, it's $53 for the bundle. Okay, and then this is the one that I was talking to and mentioning to you that you could cut those out with those die cuts. And you're gonna see a card that I created where I did just that. You have the houses and you're gonna see where I actually just used the houses punched them out with a circle punch. And on the back side you have, this is gorgeous paper. I used this piece right here for my swap card for my team meeting last month and everyone loved it. But look at how gorgeous that is, so pretty. Um, and Elizabeth likes the bird one, I do too. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And then you have this on the back side. This reminds me of that ocean one that we had where you had the variety of the different colors. Um, and then you have like a fall themed one. And on the back is more like a summery spring themed. And last but not least, you have this really gorgeous one, probably my favorite one right here. And then on the back you have just like the basket weave um, with colors in it. Okay, so let me show you. First off, I'm gonna show you a card that we're not gonna make together, but it is my card sketch for the month of August. Now I'll be posting this card tomorrow, a picture of this card, and I'll also be posting the actual sketch. So the sketch includes um, little strips of paper in the back, um, a stamped element down here on the bottom with your ribbon going across the middle here. Um, I'd love to have you take advantage of or, or participate in my, in my swap uh, or my sketch. So basically you just create a card using the sketch um, and post it and then usually I pick either um, one of my one of my gals that helps me or I pick um, my my boss did it last time my mom my husband um, somebody pick I give them all of the designs and they pick the one that they like and everyone's taste is different so um, I never want anyone to think oh my stamping's not good or my designing's not good it's, they're all beautiful so anyway but I did want to showcase how easy it is to use this paper the only thing stamped on here is happy birthday so I mean that makes makes it really, really easy to be able to, um, to use this paper 
without needing to really do a whole lot of, of stamping, okay? All right, so the first card that I'm gonna showcase for you tonight is, um, let me make sure I pull in my stamp set in case I need to look at it and reference it. So what's on my pile? Ooh, this one. So the first one I'm gonna showcase is this one right here. Now this one, I so again, when I focus on a bundle or focus on a suite, I like to give you lots of different ideas of how you can use it. So for this one, I know my house is crooked on here a little bit, but it won't be on my sample. <laughs> I wanted to showcase the awesome little, um, little uh, um, house here. And so you can see I did some stamping. I added this. I know this looks like a poinsettia, but I kind of made it look more summery-ish by just incorporating it with some of that summer paper. Um, my embellishments and things that I chose to use on all of my cards tonight is the Evening Evergreen Ribbon. I need to get this opened. I didn't realize that it wasn't opened here. So let me, sometimes these things are bugger to open. Doo -doo -doo. When you have nails, it makes it even harder. There we go. There we go. So I used the Evening Evergreen Ribbon, and then I also used the Elegant Faceted Gems. So these gems are, and I have only bits and pieces left because I've used them so much, but they're the ones that have the pink and the clear color associated with them. So um, those are the two embellishments that I used on all of my cards tonight. So let's go ahead and get started making this card right here. So um, the colors that I chose to use tonight are all in part of the paper pack. Um, I know most of you know this, but if you look on the back of your paper, it'll tell you the colors so that that's kind of how I design. I pull all those cards that colors and that's what I design with. So they're all back here, Crushed Curry, Evening Evergreen, Mint Macron, Night of Navy, um, Parakeet Party, Petal Pink, Poppy Parade, Soft Suede. So those are the colors that I used on my cards tonight. So for the first one, I used, thank you, Philomena, I used my Whisper or Basic White. Oh my gosh, I have not said um, Whisper White in a long time, and then I go ahead and say it. I used Basic White for my card base, and then I found followed it by a layer of the Knight of Navy, um, five and a quarter by four, and the petal pink. And again, that blue just kind of pops that out really nice and awesome. So we're just gonna layer those two together. Let me make sure I get my adhesive that has, um, my one that has adhesive in it. I had to replace it today. So I'm just gonna adhere those two together like that. And then I chose some designer series paper. Again, using, trying to showcase and show you all of the different patterns. So the back of this is the birds. So on this one, I'm sorry, Elizabeth, I'm gonna be covering up the birds. <laughs> um, but I do have a card where I use the birds. So um, I'll make up for it, I promise. All right, and I'm just gonna adhere these two pieces of paper to the top and bottom. This is a very popular card layout of mine because every single card that I create with it looks different based on the colors that you use with it. Um, I love it. It just goes together so nicely. Um, and so since Evening Evergreen is in the paper, I chose to use Evening Evergreen for just about all of these cards. I think all of them I did. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Evening Evergreen here around the corners of this. So pretty and yet so so, I mean, if you have not gotten this paper yet, I mean, it's a free offering and you can make so many awesome cards with it. So I encourage you to, to see if it's um, something that you can still get and add on to your um, collection there. Okay, then I have, let me see if I have my little blue piece here. Might be not having my blue piece, but that's okay. We're gonna just go without it. So. This is where I stamped my um, balmy blue. So I wanted to bring in some of the lighter blue and then I used soft suede. So you can see I just stamped the house on there and put love and warmth right across the house. Um, love and warmth comes from the Rain With Nature stamp set. And then I did cut a piece of um, Night of Navy to put around there, which it either fell on the floor or I don't have it. So we're just gonna go with the white. It'll look just as fine. And I'm going to Put this on with some dimensionals. So I'm just gonna put that on. If I if I um, have one piece of cardstock missing tonight, we're doing good with the kind of um, couple weeks that I've had. I'll leave it at that. So um, 
it's kind of funny how your mind can just get really preoccupied when you have a lot of a lot of things going on. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and adhere this down. But, but this will kind of give you an idea of how awesome it is to do the layers. Do you see how that layer just makes it pop? All right, so then I stamped using the Poppy Parade. This, and it looks like a poinsettia, but I'm using it more as just a flower for this, this summery looking card. And there is no dye for this. So this I did fussy cut, um, but it does go really fast. That's a cute card. I think it is anyway. So I know sometimes, you know, when you're looking for cards that aren't always floral, um, this is a good alternative, this, these cards are, because they're really good for um, just about, this would also be a good like welcome to the neighborhood or welcome neighbor card with the cute little house on it or something. So sometimes you need unique cards and this is one of them that I think could be used for many of those kind of things. Or you get invited to just a party and you wanna take somebody a little gift and you want a little card. This one would be a good one. Okay, so then I just adhered this on up here with a couple of dimensionals. So I'm just gonna put, uh, I'm just gonna do two here in the middle. Sorry, that's my car alarm going off that someone's either coming or going. <laughs> um, I totally forgot that my husband put that down here and it's sometimes it drives me nuts especially when I'm doing my Facebook lives my take my my take my your pick tools over at my other tables so we're just going to use scissors tonight I'm designing some gnome cards how many of you are loving the gnome stuff so that's what I'm working on right now is some gnome classes so you'll have a good handful of options for that so I'm doing a I'm doing a, a six by eight scrapbook album using the gnomes. I'm doing a card class using the gnomes and I'm doing a framed art using the gnomes. So you'll have lots of options there. Um, and then I top this card off. Oh, I also added a couple of these little jummy things onto this part of the card here as well. So this time I'm just kind of sliding them off and we'll put them where they need to go. Just move them with your fingernail, it works. All right. There you have it. Although look at this one that has the layer the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> but a really awesome card that you can use for so many different things. Thank you, Carol. All right, so next on my list of cards is, ooh, this one right here. So this one, I, um, <laughs> Carol, I love it. She loves the gnomes and she wants it all. Oh, then you're gonna be one happy, happy, happy gal. Because I've got lots planned with those gnomes. All right. So for this one, I chose to use, remember we talked about at the very beginning of my live tonight, um, how the die cuts out those um, rings of wood. So this is one of the rings of wood and I did it using um, the, I, I did it, so I embossed it first, cut it out, and this is done using um, crumb cake. And then what I did is I used my soft suede and I inked around the edges of it. So I'm just gonna kind of ink around, oh, I might have two of these together I do but double bonus all right okay so I'm just going to ink around the edges of this and then I also inked a little bit right on the top because this is embossed you have a little bit of a raised look to it so I just inked a little bit on the top of it and it just kind of made it come to life a little bit more okay this one I used the cute little mushroom paper I'm telling you, when I when I first started using this paper, <laughs> I mean, you guys are going to laugh at me. It reminded me of the Smurfs. Like, I loved the Smurfs when I was a kid. They used to be on at like 8.30 in the morning on Saturdays. And I used to get up all on my own. Everybody else would still sleep so that I could watch my Smurfs. And so this paper, I know it. I don't know why it reminded me of the Smurfs, but it did. So anyway, here you're going to see I did some simple layering. Just really quick and simple layering. Um, evening evergreen five and a quarter by four poppy parade five by three and three fourths designer series paper four and three fourths by three and a half and you can see how awesome that is just with that simple layering pretty cool right so we're going to adhere this together again there's the back of that I'm using the opposite side of the one that has the the, the all again all of these will cut out with those dies and we're just going to adhere these together and then we're going to add ribbon now on my sample i added the ribbon around the poppy layer 
But for this one, because I was in a haste of adding adhesive, we're going to add the ribbon around all three of them. Sorry, you guys, if I'm a little off tonight, but we're going to make it together. All right, so I'm just going to cut this, and then I'm going to add my ribbon around it. Doo -doo -doo, here we go. They do. I agree, Philomena. They really do blend well together, and that's why, again, the layering just makes <clears throat> the cards pop. So can you imagine if I did not have the poppy parade in there? It wouldn't be quite as bright. Um, so I know it's an, an added layer, but to me, it's what makes makes the card really kind of come to life. All right, and then I'm gonna add my little bow, my little knot on here in just a little bit. So I did a couple of circles with um, the Thinking of You, again, from the same stamp set, okay? So I like to just use the ring with nature for everything. And then we're gonna adhere that with a couple of dimensionals. So let me get them on here. And then you're gonna see how I just kind of layered that little um, ringlet of the wood underneath of it. So this is gonna go on here like that. This is gonna go under here like this, again, with some dimensionals. Um, but you are, you know, a lot of you were saying you were struggling with this, and I understand, because we we struggled with it too a little bit, designing of the cards. Um, it it was just, it's, it's harder to use because you don't know how to, when I was first doing them, I wanted to do a cluster of three, and it looked, kind of looked like Mickey Mouse, and so I kept laughing about it. It was quite funny. But anyway, then these are some dies. you got to have fun when you design, right? <laughs> these are some of the dies that are part of the Ring with Nature dies. And then my new go-to punch is the, oh gosh, what is this called? It's not called sprigs. It's called bows. Um, but you get, um, there's two of them. You get one like this, and then you get one that looks like this. It's the double punch from the annual catalog. It is my new go-to for anything spriggy that I want, okay? And then all I did was I added these um, together. So I just put this one on top of this, kind of like that. And then this piece got laid down. And again, you can see I'm just kind of in a hurry and not putting a lot of adhesive, but it could put underneath here like that. And then I used these two to layer down here on the bottom. Again, little spriggy things go a long way. I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive down there. And then I'm gonna add this one, and then we're gonna add that one on there. And then I topped it off with um, some of those gems again. So you can see I added the gem one to the, the little ring here, um, and a couple down here to the thinking of you. So I am gonna tie on my ribbon under here. This could also be a birthday card if you didn't want to make it thinking of you. It could also be a thank you card. So you could use this card for many different things. Doo -doo. My ribbon's a little long. Oops. All right. So, and, and then we added these on there. So I'm going to add one on two. And I put my little things under a little bit far. So I'm just going to put it on the side there. And then I'm gonna add a couple here as well. One there and one here. Maybe with my fingernails. You can kind of add them wherever you want, but there you go. Really quick and simple, easy. By not adding, a, um, again, the paper kind of does all the work for you on that one. All right, so that is card number two. Okay, my next one. Oh, this one's pretty too. So this one I wanted to showcase and um, incorporate the stamp. So this is the stamped of uh, the stamp of the ring or the the wood, and then behind it here is just using um, again when you that big die that I showcased that you can um, emboss and then cut them all out at once. That's what this is. Okay. So this card's going to actually go together pretty quickly and easily. A good fall themed card right here. Um, I did mine as a get well soon. Again, the get well soon is right here in the Ring with Nature stamp set. So for this card, I used the um, Evening Evergreen for my card base. And what I did is I actually embossed my five and a quarter by four piece using that die. And this time I did not cut them out. So can you see by doing it that way, you can use it, you know, instead of just using it and cutting them out, you can actually use it to just emboss your entire piece. So that is what I did on this one. Again, just different ways of showing you how to use the product. 
And so I'm just gonna adhere this one down. And then I pulled a couple colors um, that were in the designer series paper. So this is the one that looks like fall, right? The fall themed. And so it had the crushed curry and it had the poppy parade. And so I just cut a couple little squares and I'm gonna put one up here and I'm gonna put one down here. And then this is just gonna go on here like that. And see how it just kind of pulls all that together? Very quick and simple and easy. So let's adhere these down here. Thank you, Louie Isn't it a pretty card? I agree. I like it too. So I have to admit, I was not totally in love with the Rain With Nature bundle when I first saw it. Um, but it's one of those things that has grown on me a little bit. I don't, I mean, I still wouldn't call it my favorite, um, but it has grown on me, especially with that designer series paper that came out um, during celebration that we can use with it. So, um, you know, that I think kind of is what, what sold it for me. I'm like, okay, I have to get the, the bundle because I'm getting that paper. <laughs> oh, it could look like a bird's nest. Yeah, you could actually put a bird in there, cut one of your little birds out, Elizabeth, and you would be good to go. I like that idea. Yeah. All right, so now I'm just going to adhere this down and I'm going to put it to where I kind of have the same amount of the um, crushed curry showing and the poppy parade. Again, I'm not a perfectionist, so I just kind of go with it. This I did put down to my card with dimensionals. So let me get my dimensionals. And I'm actually, I think, close to using all of my outer edges because that's just kind of how I, how I do that. So we're just gonna put that down here in the middle. And then I stamped this in advance and cut this out with, um, so I stamped on, um, on uh, Whisper or Basic White. Now I'm saying it all the time. And then I stamped using the um, Soft Suede ink and that's just gonna get glued down right on top. But again, wanting to show you the versatility of the stamp set versus the dies, um, so on and so forth. And then there's that bow um, punch again that you're gonna see. I'm just gonna stick the one leaf under here. And that is Evening Evergreen. This is done with, um, I think it's Mint Macron. And that's gonna go underneath there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive to that because this is not completely, oh, that one I did glue all the way down. This one I'm not, I'm just gonna kind of leave it up like that, at least for the purposes of my video tonight. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive to that one and that's gonna go right here on the top of it. Ta-da! Okay, and then on a, um, on a half of an inch strip of the um, cardstock, the basic white. Now this one I used um, very vanilla. Here you're gonna see I used basic white. So it's gonna give you a little bit of a different look. Um, I'm just gonna snip this off here and I'm gonna add that on um, down here to my card. Um, and I did not use dimensionals on that. I just glued it directly on. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive on there and adhere it down here like that. And this one I cut at an angle versus the banner. But isn't that cute? Um, topped it off, oh, topped it off with a couple of those gems again can't forget about the gems so these gems you actually have some clear ones some like light pink and then some that are more of your your um, white ones so we're just gonna put a couple of white ones up here so that they show up really good so I have a large one and then a small one and there you have that yay okay so this next card is going to showcase how I use the designer series paper the house paper on a card and it's also going to showcase how I cut out so what I did is I embossed this with um, that embossing folder that I showcased and then I used the little dies or the, the overcast die to cut out those um, actually I used the little ones the three little ones and you line them up and you cut it out and then because remember they're also individual there's one die for all of them and then there's the individual ones I put a piece of the designer series paper behind it Okay, so it looks like it's a house in the woods. Isn't that kind of cool? So anyway, um, for this one, I chose to use um, the, actually I may have, yeah. So this one's Mint Macron. This one you're gonna get soft succulent. Um, and, and again, I think I must have been colorblind. 
<laughs> but they're so close it's going to be gorgeous okay um and then i used um evening evergreen which is the five and a quarter by four and so this is then the five by three and three fourths and i cut the designer series paper to go behind it the exact same size now when you adhere these two together you want to make sure you do not put adhesive on the paper where these openings are or you're going to have a sticky hot mess so for this one i'm going to make sure i add the adhesive um, in areas where it will be covered up okay so i'm just going to adhere those together and i'm going to line these up perfectly oh thank you philomena i like this one too it's probably one of my favorites and actually might be close to one of my favorites all right and then this piece i'm going to adhere down to my evening evergreen and then this entire piece is going to get adhered down to my card base okay so i'm just going to add adhesive to that and adhere it down like that okay we're going to do my normal new little ribbon trick so we're going to add some adhesive down here to the middle and we're going to do the zigzaggy ribbon trick okay so this one's already cut at an angle. I'm gonna actually start mine opposite this time. So again, you can kind of start it going this way in, this way out, whichever way you want. But I like to kind of show you guys a little bit of a variation as I make the cards so you don't always see the same, same thing twice here. And then I'm just gonna cut this at an angle there we go. Now, this uh, house is cut from that designer series paper. Let me show you that piece again for any of you that may have. Um, thank you, Judy, and welcome. Nice to have you here with me tonight. So the house is cut from the out from this paper, and it's just circles. So you could do lots of different houses with this and make this would also be a nice like um, even a Christmas card, you know, from our, our house to yours kind of thing. I mean, you can really get creative with that. I layered it with um, two of the um, other coordinating circles. So behind it, I have Evening Evergreen um, and then the um, Soft Succulent. Thank you, Shireen. Glad you like them. These, like I said, were a little bit more challenging for me at first. I'm more of a floral person or, um, or over something that I really, really like. Designing comes a little bit easier to me. So I had to work a little bit with this, but I do like the cards. I really think they turned out really, really nice. Um, that's going to go on the center right there with some um, dimensionals. So I'm just going to use up my edges here. I hope you all use up your edges too. Uh, anyway, going to cut up my edges. Adhere this down. Now I made this one a get well soon card, but again, you could use it for anything that you might want. Oh, that's what I did wrong. I used the wrong get well for the wrong card. Oh, wow. Um... So I'm just gonna use the get well soon and I'm gonna put it down here in the bottom using some dimensionals. So I might have one left there. So on top of um, all of my crazy life, yesterday was our very first um, department um, summer picnic. And it was the first time we've had an in-person event my entire department since the pandemic. And my department has about 120, well, about 116 people in it now. Um, but I had to plan a picnic and plan the catering and it was out at a park in Mount, in Mount Pleasant where I live. And so I had that to kind of get ready too, which was a lot of a lot of work, but a lot of fun. So I'm not gonna tell you when my plate's been kind of full, it's been kind of full, but it was nice. We played games outside. It was like from noon until five and we were surprised that everybody almost stayed until five. So anyway, lots and lots of fun. Um, the final thing that I did on this was I added some of the little um, gems again. So we're just going to slide some of those off on here. They show up, it just adds a little, almost makes it look like a little pearl drop or a little water drop. Um, and I'm just gonna slide a few off on there. And there you have it. All right, we are down to my final card. And so Elizabeth, if you are still with me and still holding tight, this is the bird card. All right, so let me showcase that one here for you. So again, you're gonna see where I'm using the paper this time. This is the designer series paper to cut out the wood, the wood ring from the tree. I'm using the paper, I'm pulling the colors from the paper so you can 
see here, I'm pulling in Knight of Navy. I'm pulling in Crushed Curry on this card. Um, so always look at the colors that's in that paper so you know what to pull um, to pull from. So card base is my um, um, Knight of Navy. And then, oh, look at that love. I like it. All right, a five and a quarter by four is my crushed curry. Again, I embossed those wood, um, the embossing folder. So again, you can use it just as an embossing folder. You don't have to always cut everything out with that. So this is just going to get adhered down to the card base. This reminds me of our Mount Pleasant School colors right here. All right, and then that paper I cut three by four. And so then the paper behind it is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I still incorporated some of that evening evergreen ribbon in it, okay? So what I did is I added a little bit of that ribbon right around the lower part, portion of this. Oh, Bonnie, you would love these colors. My sister's a blue fanatic. So Carol, you are my purple person and Courtney's my purple person. My sister's my blue person. So growing up it made it really easy because I liked pink and she liked blue. So I never had to fight for the pink of anything. It's kind of nice. Okay, and then we're gonna adhere this down to my card, like this at an angle. And then we will add the little ribbon here on the end in just a little bit. But I'm gonna show you again, this is the die from the paper, and that's just gonna go down here on the bottom. So um, I used dimensionals for that. So let me find another couple of these I need to cut because I like to use them all up. Okay, and that will go here. The DSP is really, really pretty, Shereen. Like I said, it, it took me a little bit of time to kind of get in the groove with designing, but once it kind of came to me, but that's only because I'm, this is um, a little bit outside of what I normally would, would design with. So, um, but once I got going with it, I'm like, these cards turned out a lot better than I thought, to be honest with you. I was a little worried about it at first. I was doubting my ability, how's that? <laughs> I was doubting my ability that I had it in me to design with these, um, with this, because I just didn't know for sure if, if I was liking it. So um, I did then put this underneath here a little bit like that. Thank you, Beth. Um, they did turn out a lot nicer than I um, had thought. Um, the one that gave me the biggest grief that I sent here, sat here for a long time trying to figure out if I liked it or not was the one, um, oh, which one was it? I literally was like, this is starting to look like it's Mickey Mouse. So I ended up taking away the three circle or the three wood pieces and using the one and it was just kind of a nightmare. But this is the one that I struggled with the most. So um, I think it was the last card that I created as well and it was getting late at night and I probably should have just gone to bed um, and came back the next morning, but I'm like, no, I want to get this done. It's my fifth card and that's what I need. And so kept on playing with it. All right. And then we're just going to trim those at an angle. Let me make sure I get that nice and straight. There we go. All right. So there you have, oh, and then I added a couple of those gems again. Oh, I'm glad Judy. So Judy, I'm glad that it wasn't just me. You felt the same way. Well, now you'll have some ideas of what you can do with this paper and how you can use it. Because yes, I at first was the exact same way. And I'm like, nope, I need to showcase it. I need to figure it out. And they actually turned out pretty good. So I'm actually, wow, 750 and I'm done with, well, I didn't do a 3D project. But let me showcase for you guys. And I apologize. I just didn't have the time to get that done. Um, with everything going on in our lives the last couple weeks. But um, I, I promise it's going to get better. It has to get better. And I promise that I will get back to my normal routine because I have a system. I have a system. I just need to get going on it. All right. So these are all the cards that I created. Oops, you guys can't see that getting outside of the camera view. Um, but these are all the cards that we created tonight using, thank you, Philomena, using this awesome bundle. And I hope that it inspired you. If you haven't gotten this designer series paper yet, you can get it for free simply by placing a qualifying $50 order and then picking the rings um, of love paper for free. Um, and 
again, you can see how I created some pretty fun cards with it all. Um, and you get the paper completely free. The bundle is $53. Now, if anyone's interested in this class, it is a full class that I'm offering the month of August where you will get, um, if you're a club member of mine, this is one of your three selections. So I um, just wanted to mention that. Um, but if you're interested in the class, let me know and I'll make sure you get added to the list. Um, the other thing is if you're interested in just putting in a, th a minimum $30 order with me or take it to 50 to get your free paper, from now through Sunday night, you'll get three of these cards, completed cards sent to you in the mail as a little thank you. Um, and, oh, Carol, guess what? I do not have my host code um, printed. I have it created, but it's not printed. It will. It's right now, it's out on my blog at kimsbasementbunch.com or message me and I'll send you the, the host code um, immediately so that you have it. Um, it didn't get that far. So anyway, thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. I hope that you enjoyed my Facebook Live. Um, nice to be back with you all after a week off. And I look forward to seeing you all back here next Thursday. Um, I don't even know what I'm showcasing. It's in, in my agenda, but I always mean to look it up and give you guys. But isn't it a nice surprise when you find out like during the week when I just post it? So anyway, but I am planning for the whole month of August what you're going to be seeing. So um, it might even be Halloween coming up soon. So thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a wonderful weekend and week ahead. And we'll see you all back here next Thursday. Bye, everyone.